What's up? Welcome back. I'm sorry this is part two of FL2K prep. There's just so much work to do and so little time. And actually, I don't know how the little things are taking so long, but we got to knock stuff out now because we have tests in tune tomorrow night and I want to get the car ready to go. So we need to finish taking the sound deadening out. I just bought some dry ice, came back from Publix. And actually, last time I had bought three bags. I used one bag, the other two I put in my freezer and I figured, oh, I'll use them the next day. They disappeared. So I had to go buy more dry ice. Got dry ice. Need to roll the front fenders. The rear fenders came out kind of... I'll have to show you guys how that looks. And then besides that for the track, making sure the driver's seat is bolted in. The seat belts are on well. Uh, checking the fluids. And I don't think there's too much else left. But either way, we got to knock stuff out. Let's get to it. That's it. Finally finished. Used the two bags of ice I had left. Finished up all the sound deadening inside the car. Everything under the front seats, behind the back seats where your feet go as a passenger, and the trunk I had already done before when I did my fuel pump. So right now I'm throwing everything into this garbage bag, see how much it weighs. I did pretty good, got some big chunks out of it. Uh, I'm gonna say the heaviest, thickest part was right over the trans tunnel, or behind the trans tunnel right here. I had like a padding underneath it, almost like a second carpet between the uh, top sound deadening, then some padding, then the bottom sound deadening underneath it. So we'll put this all in the bag. We'll see how much it weighs, see if it was worth it. All right, so I weigh, let's see, we got 166. Now let's do it with the bag. Oh boy, ooh, gonna break my back. Sixty-six to one ninety-one. All right, I had to pause it so I can do some quick math. Twenty-five pounds, not including the trunk. So call it thirty pounds with the trunk. Is that really worth it? I don't know. Depends on your uh, definition of worth it. So uh, now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I order some Goo Gone, come in, clean this up so it looks half decent. That's it. Let's keep chugging. Actually, something we haven't paid attention to. Is our board here. Let's see, we mounted the Kirky seat. We can knock that out. Uh, remove sound editing, just finished that. Now we need to clean up sound editing or clean up uh, interior. Uh, we need to roll front fenders. And let me show you how the rears came out. Fenders. All right. Um, oh, what else? And then 25 pounds sound deadening. See, I said it would be more than the uh, Kirby seat. I wasn't wrong by a couple pounds. All right, perfect. You know what else I want to do? I want to remove the radio because it doesn't even work. So might as well take it out. Well, didn't get quite to finish doing what we wanted to do, but it's now Friday. It's Test and Tune night. Test and Tune starts in about an hour and it's about 25 minutes from here so I got a little bit of time to do what I need what's really important first is me vacuuming up anything left over from stripping the sound deadening that's most important so we're not going down the track and that stuff is flying around we'll do that if we have a little bit of time we'll try to roll the front fenders we'll see if we can do that if not I think they might survive but this takes priority right now so let's knock that out all right weren't able to roll the front fenders I was having an issue with the uh Fender roller, I don't know what the deal is. I think the car is too low, so it's not sitting on the lip the way I need it to. So we scratched that, checked the oil, oil's good. Checking the catch can, we got a little bit of uh, oil in the catch can, gonna drain into here, we'll take a quick look at it. I went ahead and uh, just did a quick scrub on the inside just with some degreaser, doesn't look too bad. Packed my helmet in the back, can't see it there. Got the trunk all set up. So we're taking laptop. Oh my God, my garage is such a mess. We got laptop, backpack, helmet, drain that, not taking any tools. We're taking a pen so we can sign tech quickly. Got my wallet, got my ID, got pants, and that's it. Let's rock. Let's check out what's going on inside this catch can. All right, inside the catch can, it was pretty much clear. So it makes me think that it's more condensation than anything, which is good. It wasn't really pushing out the oil. So great. Let's pack up, grab a little boom box so we can listen to music on the way there. That's it, just like that, we're off to the track. We 
got some boom boom. We're riding dirty. try to keep the uh, average speeds down. I don't know, I have the theory about uh, keeping the tire temps as low as possible if you're using race tires on the street. Either way, let's go get tucked in and let's uh, do some damage. that run was we tried to do a bigger burnout you can see in the video but it still wasn't enough I think our plan is we want to stay in one spot really smoke them up get some heat in the tire and then hopefully they'll bite but we still think the tire is not really deforming and gripping the way we thought it would be so we're gonna lower the pressure a little bit more than the 15 that with a bigger burnout hopefully will get us a launch we're looking for all right so he wanted to try sitting in it How was it? I can drive it. Yes. Yeah? Ready to go. Alright, now get out. Let me run this one out. Alright, now get out. Right. Now get out. <laughs> get out? Yeah. Get out. Get out. Get out? Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, right now. No, where's the hit? Where's the <laughs> 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 Nothing to it. Nothing to it. <laughs> That was about to be the end of the video because we finished testing but i just signed up for pre-fl2k testing at bradenton so right now i'm crunching that's actually tomorrow in today's world and i need to be there before noon to get everything set up so now i'm crunching just finish all the small things on the car get it prepped uh drain any fluids i'm not gonna need gonna need to put the diaper on and i think that's really it then i need to make a list of things i'm gonna need at the track make sure i pack everything and now it's kind of a little bit of a scramble, but enough enough wasting time. We got to go. All right, just had to make a quick trip to Havoc Speed, pick up some fuel because I figured if we can get the car to hook at FL2K or during testing, I want every advantage I can to get you know down the nines as we can. So buy a little one ethanol R to help us out. A little extra power won't hurt. And that's it. We finished up our list and we're getting ready to go. We cleaned up the interior. Didn't quite roll the front fenders, but it didn't need it. Found that out last track session. So right now, I got my buddy Pepe's truck. Lent me the truck. Picked up the trailer from U-Haul. Got the car out. Going to do a quick wash because we can't show up with a dirty car. But I hate to show it, but this garage has exploded on me. I hate when it looks like this. But uh, I got a list on my phone of everything I want to take to the track. 
jack stands, jack tools, tent, chairs, umbrella, uh, cooler, extra parts, this and that. But wash it up, load it up. My dad's about to meet me here. I convinced him to call out at work to go to the testing team with me because I love when he comes out and he's a crew chief with me. So I got him coming out. And, yeah, let's load up. Hopefully we have a safe drive over there and a safe test. All right, I need to make an observation here. <laughs> a couple times it's happened already where I look in the back and I see someone up my ass as I'm driving and I realize it's the Cressida on the trailer behind me. <laughs> That's it. We made it here at the Bradenton. No issues. Smooth ride. So today is day one of private testing. The only people allowed to come in today to race are if you had a race card or ready for FL2K, then you could pay extra to come race today. I think it was uh, 250 bucks to be able to come race today. It's three to nine and they limit how many cars it is. So you kind of get like free reign of coming out to test and it's pretty much FL2K prep on the track before FL2K. So why not? We get through the gate, get loaded up, get situated, make some passes. All right, so we made it out here, not too many cars. It's just hot as balls. Got a tent set up, got the crew chief, got him to call out of work, came out, and yeah, all set up, just, it's hot. Checked the fluids, fluids good, and then crew chief, of course, being a crew chief, brought up a good point. What did you ask? Do you have gas? No, I don't have any gas. <laughs> Last time, we were, uh, Lexi was helping drain the uh, power steering fluid. Uh, I could hear the lift pump gurgling, which means the main tank was low, but showed you guys about the, one ethanol stuff so we're gonna pour the one ethanol in we'll just start with five gallons and see how that works out Yeah, so uh, so the track guys gave us a little bit of uh, insight. They said it's too hot out and we're doing too big of a burnout, so it's oiling up the tire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna t check the uh, track temp versus our tire temp after a burnout. We're just gonna do a small burnout, just a little whip of smoke, dust them off, get the dirt off, a little bit of heat. And I'm also gonna try slipping the clutch a little bit as I think we're just shocking them way too hard and it's just not able to, to grab with the uh, BC coilovers we have. So, burnout guy, has a bigger job now to do is tell me when to stop doing a burnout. FYI, this car is auto now. Yep. Oh, it's still it's stick! Woo! All right, Orange Man Bad is back. We confirmed it's stick shift. We are shifting the last pass. Let's see. Showed you guys a few runs, tell you what changes we made. We dropped the air pressure in the back from 8 to 12, and we took out eight, all the stiffening. Oh, yeah, we went from 12 to 8, sorry. And then we changed the rear stiffness settings of the BC coilovers. We had them halfway stiff, then we backed them back out to full soft and made them five clicks hard. And then the biggest change we did is we slipped the clutch just a little bit and then that got us our run that we have right here. And then we're like, all right, cool. If you listen, the car bogged a little bit, then the turbo had to come back online. So the run 
after that I tried to slip the clutch a little bit more and a little bit did a little bit too much right a little bit too much so you can see I smoked the clutch right here and then that's right now so we need something in between and hopefully we can drop our 60 foot from a 1.5 to 1.4 and at least the 15 would have been worth it other otherwise we're running the same times that we were on our drag radials so out here fl 2k weather's looking really good excited a lot of cars starting to show up What is it, John? YouTube, comment, like this video if you like it. Watch some more if you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I won't do it